I did many project tutorials, but unfortunately 3D web development is what it is. There are a lot of factors that can make a project run fine on my computer when I record it and just crashes on yours. While I could say it works on my machine, which is sometimes what I want to reply when I receive tons of private messages on Instagram, Discord or Twitter. Actually, I'm here to help you learn and unlock you. That's why when you are blocked, ask for help on our Discord community. Link is in each video description. Oh, some developers and I are always willing to help you. Just be sure to have specific questions instead of it doesn't work with a photo of your screen and do not mention me directly, please. There are theme-based channels to discuss and ask generic questions and the help center channel to create proper posts to easily keep track on what's the issue and what have been tried. That being said, most of the help requests are fair and I've picked the most common ones happening on the 3D portfolio and the AI virtual girlfriend chatbot. Even if you don't have those issues yet, the content might interest you because it covers how to fix it, but mainly why it happens for some users while we are following the same tutorial. And no, the answer is not always between the chair and the keyboard. Let's start with the first issue happening on the first step of the 3D portfolio project. Let's clone the project to see what we have. So code, copy the address, in a terminal, git clone and paste the URL. Then we open the folder with file, open folder. And once we are inside, yarn and yarn dev and click on the link to open it. But if you open it, you can see we have no issue. The position of the avatar is correct. We can switch animations and it works great. The issue people have is when they are, for example, on typing animation, the avatar is rotated below. So they are wondering why. Thing is on this project, the package.json the version of 3.js I use is an old version, but the video is using my starter pack to create the project, which has another version of 3.js, an updated one. Even if it's still using an old version of 3.js, it's not the same. So let's copy that version, top our development server, go to package.json and use the same version here and for the types too. Now we run yarn to update the dependencies and yarn dev. And now we have the issue many people have. So you can see it's based on the version of 3.js that you have that issue. Best is to use the most recent 3.js version. So let's see how we can fix it. The problem is located inside the animation files that we generated with Mixamo using the character.fbx because one of the change of 3.js version made it the axis must be different for handling animations. So how to generate properly the different animations? Go to new file, general, hit A, delete everything, file, import, it's a GLB that we have. Let's find the file, it's in public, models, and this file is the one we get from Ready Player Me. It's the GLB file that we are using in the project. So import it. I don't know why I have this, but we can get rid of it. And we have our armature. We don't need to do anything. Go to file, export, FBX. But be sure to use the same settings as I do. Let's save it at the same place to replace the old character.fbx that we generated. And the two things we have to consider is forward to use Y forward and up is Z up. If you have this correctly, export FBX, go to Mixamo, upload the character that we just did in FBX. So character.fbx, open. The auto rigging should work perfectly. Search for typing or any animation you want. Select this one, it's the one we had. Download without skin because we just want the animation information, but not the 3D model. We are using the GLB file. And then simply drag and drop into your animations folder, replace the previous one. Let's reload it. And now the animation is correct. If we switch to the other one, because we didn't change them, we have the issue. So go through each animation and it should be fine. In the console, you would see that error that is triggered when we play the animation. I think it's coming from Mixamo animation, providing us more information of things to animate that our model contain, but it has no impact. So you can just ignore it. Problem number one is now solved. Another thing that is often asked is if we zoom in, some parts of our head, the eyes, the hair are disappearing, which is very weird. 
So the solution actually it is in the next part. It's not at the end of the first part. So first let's look at the fix to get rid of this effect. What we need to do is to go to our avatar that we generated and on all the skinned mesh to set first term called is equal to false. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Maybe I could do a replace all, but I was lazy. And now I can be very close to it and nothing disappears. It looks nice. So why do we need to do that? To understand it, let's read the definition of what first term called property is doing with 3JS objects. When this is set, it checks every frame if the object is in the first term of the camera before rendering the object. So we disable the fact that we are checking if it is visible on camera. What it means is when it is enabled, it thinks that our items are not visible to the camera. And this is because we have animations that are moving our item. So it is using the original position of the mesh and not the new position after the animation. So it thinks it's out of the camera and doesn't render it. So let's get rid of the fix. Save it. And we have the issue reappearing. Okay, now let's comment the code that is triggering the animation. Reload and let's see if we get close if we have the issue. And now it's working fine if we go very close behind anywhere because the calculation is made correctly we don't have the issue so the fix is to disable first term code now let's see the last problem it's not really an issue it's more a guide on how to use the ai girlfriend project out of the box from what i see it's more people that are trying to just run the project than to code it so let's start by cloning both repositories and to run them so the front end is just out of the box let's go back to support center git clone the front end let's go to the back end let's find the address git clone it okay now let's open the front end and run it. So file, open folder, run yarn and yarn dev and open it. It's in debug mode, so let's uncommand the things. We can just remove hidden on the UI and add it on Leva. Looks better, but we didn't start the backend, so it won't work. By the way, I will commit it. So git add, git commit disable debug mode okay now let's open the backend run yarn and yarn dev then it is explained in the tutorial what you need to do is to create an env file you have the dot env dot example to show you what you can use i won't show you more variables but be sure to generate your open ai key and 11 labs api key when it's good you can restart the server so you are sure it loaded the new m file let's open it and run hello how are you and i guess we have a crash from the backend this is because one of the command is to run rebarb library to generate the lip sync from the audio file so in the tutorial what we do is we are using rebarb library to have the data to know what uh, mouse shape we are displaying so to install that library, we need to go to release and download the version based on your system. So me, it's macOS, but if you are using Windows, it's different. We need to put it into a slash bin folder. So here, new folder, bin, and drag and drop the uncompressed folder here. Okay, done. And if you look, you should see the binary name rebarb here. Then you can try again. So restart the server. Let's run. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And it's working well. But if you are not using macOS or Linux, the way to exec a command is not this way. So you need to convert it into a Windows syntax based on your server or local machine. To do so, instead of sending me a private message on how to do it, you can just ask ChatGPT, convert the Linux exec command into a Windows one. And you can see this is the version for Windows. So I guess if you try it, it should work. So here you would go replace this syntax with this one and you're ready to go. This is the same principle for the conversion of the audio from MP3 to WAV. So what you can do is we are using FFmpeg. You need to install it on your machine. I think I explained it in the video. Otherwise you can see how to install 
by following the documentation. Thank you for watching, I hope it helped you unlock issues you could have. If you need further help, remember that Discord is here. I'm currently writing the shader chapter for my React Refiber course, link in the description. Once it's finished, we should start again big projects on this channel. Until then, you can binge watch my existing tutorials and become a React Refiber expert. I recommend you start with this video here.